is extremely important to monitor recording levels during digital recording, which can be tough on some of these smaller digital recorders. The consequence of not recording good levels can be great, so let's take a look at some of the basics of achieving good recording levels. The dynamic range of a recorder is the range between the lowest level, or the noise floor, and the loudest sound levels that can be captured, or the peak. Recording a signal with levels too close to the noise floor will result in a poor signal-to-noise ratio. The goal is for your levels to come as close to the permitted maximum level as possible without reaching or exceeding that limit. A signal that is too hot will result in distortion. Exceeding the peak limit is called clipping, and it will degrade the sound. Clipping is usually indicated with a red light. If your recorder uses colored level meters, green is okay, yellow and orange are still okay, but if you approach your peak limits, red will indicate clipping. After the interview, it is possible with audio editing software to boost the levels if originally recorded too low. However, with a poor signal to noise ratio, this process will raise the noise floor and boost the noise in the interview. If clipping occurs, it is very difficult to fix after the fact. It is best to record the interview with a certain amount of headroom, the space between the peak signal and the maximum level allowed. Usually, interviews falling consistently between minus 12 and minus 6 decibels allow enough headroom to account for intermittent spikes in peak levels. The difficulty with oral history recording is its dynamic and unpredictable nature. Conversations can be very quiet at times and escalate in volume relatively quickly. Recorder operators should evaluate the levels at the beginning of the interview and continuously monitor them throughout the process to make sure they remain at safe levels. However, you do not want to ride the levels constantly turning up and turning down according to the dynamics of the interview. If you are initially uncomfortable with manually controlling the levels, it's best to use a recorder that is equipped with a limiter, which will assist in preventing clipping. Automatic level control, a feature which is found on most recorders, will prevent clipping, but it will also boost noise and is not ideal for professional level recording. Remember, you want to record as strong a signal as possible, but you don't want your recording levels to clip. Higher bit depth recording, such as 24-bit recording, is more forgiving of a low-level recording from a noise perspective. Locate a comfortable range for your peaks, usually between minus 12 and minus 6 decibels, at the beginning of the interview. A recording that has an average peak under minus 16 decibels will normally have a greater amount of noise when the levels are boosted to optimal levels later on. I prefer to stay away from averaging in the minus 3 dB range because of the unpredictability of an interview. If clipping occurs, don't panic, gently back the levels down, and continue your interview.